What's up, hungry people? Today, we're heading out of the kitchen and back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry for some very magical recipes. Every year, I dedicate the last week of July to the boy who lived by making delicious recipes and concoctions inspired by the magical world of Harry Potter. Last year, I made the ultimate Potter pilgrimage to the actual Hogwarts at the Harry Potter Studios in London, so you know I'm serious when it comes to my Harry Potter fandom. Stay tuned until the end to watch one of my nerdiest Harry Potter moments straight from the Harry Potter studio. Today, we are honoring one of my favorite characters, Luna Lovegood. Everyone, this is Luna Love... Luna Lovegood. I love Luna because she reminds me a lot of myself, a little bit of a talented witch, and a lot of bit of a weirdo. I even named one of my dogs after Luna. Known in the books for her radish earrings and quirky personality, Luna Lovegood is one of the most unique characters in the Harry Potter universe. Mom always said, the things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. If not always in the way we expect. Luna's summer radish salad uses magical and muggle ingredients alike. If you want the muggle-friendly version, check out the recipe link in the description for the full list of ingredients with step-by-step -step instructions. I'd like to think this recipe for Luna's radish cucumber salad would be a popular article in the Quibbler, right next to the classifieds looking for missing nargles and nifflers. Pick and wash your radishes thoroughly, and use the Defendo charm to slice them into thin, even pieces. Crush Scarbab Beetle will help draw out the liquid in the radishes and make them more tender. Let the radish slices rest for about 10 minutes. Next, grab an English cucumber. Use the Defendo charm again to slice into bite-sized pieces about a quarter of an inch thick. Then transfer the cucumber slices to a large cauldron. Lacewing flies are usually used for making polyjuice potion, but it's little known that they are also pretty tasty when used raw. If you can't get your hands on lacewing flies, use a common vampire repellent instead. Next, add one whole red onion and defendo into thin slices. Then pour in a generous helping of bloom slang skin oil for a pop of savory flavor. Followed by a dash of frog parts mixture for some tangy taste. Finally, dry aged rat spleen adds some color and a dilly dash of astringency. Stir the concoction for 15 seconds for maximum potency. By now, the radishes should be pretty sweaty. Use a towel to blot off the excess moisture and salt. Brush off as much of the salt as you can before combining the radishes into the cauldron. Give the cauldron a fresh cracking of peppercorns to taste, then stir clockwise for about 30 seconds. Let the radish salad chill for about an hour prior to serving. While the magical version of Luna's radish salad lends to charm and wit, the muggle version is much less mild and safe for non-magical consumption. What recipes would you like to see pulled from the Harry Potter universe? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, as promised, here's the nerdiest moment of my life for your entertainment. Harry Potter Week is just beginning. 
follow The Starving Chef on Facebook to keep up with my daily doses of magical recipes, or head on over to thestarvingchefblog.com to view my full archives of Harry Potter recipes from years past. Don't forget to flip that sub button and ring the dinner bell to be notified of my latest recipes and video adventures that I post every week. I hope you all enjoyed, and you're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what?